protesters gathered outside the Yuma County Superior Courthouse this morning to protest and demand answers for beloved tribal member Jordan Stevens, who died in custody at the Yuma County Adult Detention Center in 2017. They claim correctional officers used excessive force on Stevens inside the facility, ultimately leading to his death. Our News 11's Carmen Valencia brings us an update to this story. It's been three years since Stephen's death and family members are still looking for answers. They gathered today on what would have been Stephen's 33rd birthday. Signs held by community members that read justice for Jordan. I'm protesting on behalf of all of those that are incarcerated currently whose rights aren't being respected. Jordan Stevens, a Native American man from Summerton, died in custody at the Yuma County Sheriff's Office Adult Detention Facility in 2017. I'm here to get answers for Jordan and his family and just to bring justice. In attendance, Jordan's family holding signs that say we miss Uncle Jojo. Stevens' death was ruled a homicide, but others say that doesn't go far enough especially after seeing surveillance video from the incident where you can see 10 correctional officers surrounding him. The family attorney for Stevens saying they used excessive force. That's why three years later, loved ones are still demanding answers from YCSO. That he was tasered, he was kicked, he was punched in the head numerous times. They tell our news team they want justice to be served and that there should be consequences for the officers involved. It could have happened to any one of the community members in Yuma, in Summerton, in Welton, anywhere that's located. This is the Yuma County Adult Detention Center that got away with murder. We've reached out to YCSO to see if they want to add anything new, but we have yet to hear back. Jordan's family did not want to be on camera. However, family and friends have put together a petition to reopen the case. For that information, visit our website at kymate.com. Reporting in Yuma, Carmen Valencia, News 11. Well, next for us.